Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 22nd December 2022, the Ministry of Defense has given acceptance of necessity for Rs 84,328 crore for the modernization of Indian Armed Forces. The AON has been given for 24 capital equation proposals. These proposals include 6 for Indian Army, 6 for Indian Air Force and 10 for Indian Navy and two proposals for Indian Coast Guard. The government is focused on making India for 21 projects which worth around Rs 82,127 crore or 97.4% by value to be procured from indigenous sources. Now from the list of approved procurement, the one item was multi-purpose vessels for Indian Navy. So the news is that on 20th March 2023, the key length ceremony for two ships of multi-purpose vessel project, which is yard number 18001 and yard number 18002 has been held at LNT shipyard Katupalli. From AON to the commencement of actual shipbuilding, it took nearly three months, which shows how defense manufacturing is changing in India. The vessel is being designed to undertake maritime surveillance, patrolling, search and rescue mission. These vessels are also capable of launch and recovery of torpedoes, towing of other vessels, limited capacity hospital service and logistics support to island territory. It will have a displacement of 3750 ton with a max speed of 50 knot. It has an endurance of uh, 4500 miles at 10 knots. It can host 8 officers and 108 sailors. It will feature a 30mm and 12.7mm gun, anti-submarine warfare rocket, heavy and lightweight torpedo launchers. It will also have self-defense capability and chaff launcher. It can launch and recover surface and aerial targets as well. Next we will talk about anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft by GRSE. CSL and GRSE had signed the contract for the construction supply of these anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft in April 2019. Each of them will be constructing eight of these vessels. Now let's talk about the construction status of all these anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft. The process began from 1st December 2020 when CSL commenced the construction of its first vessel followed by GRSE on 31st December same year. On 20th December 2022, GRSE has launched its first anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft named Arnala which is expected to be commissioned by the year 2023. Now recently that is on 31st December, GRSE has laid key for two more anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft. On 21st March 2023, GRSE has launched its second anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft with yard number 3035. The anti-submarine warfare shallow water craft is equipped with sophisticated sonar equipment including a hull-mounted sonar and towed low-frequency variable depth sonar for detecting and intercepting hostile submarines. These vessels are not only capable of detecting submarines but can also detect mines laid by submarines and midget submarines. In addition, it has capability to interdict and destroy subsurface targets in coastal waters. These ships can also perform search and rescue operations during both day and night in coastal areas and defend intruding aircraft and lay mines on the seabed. Each vessel has a displacement of around 750 tons, length of 77.6 meter and width of 10.5 meter. The vessel will have a maximum speed of 25 knots and a range of 1800 nautical miles at 14 knot speed. The vessel will be armed with one RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launcher, six lightweight anti-submarine warfare torpedo and anti-submarine mines launched from mine laying rails. It also features a 30mm naval gun and two 12.7mm M2 stabilized remote control gun. This was today's update. 
please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector